Hey guys, it's Poxbro. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm making a guide for the Pepper Shaker to optimize its damage and just pretty much let you use the Pepper Shaker to its fullest. And yeah, I'll talk about all the perk card details and legendary effects in this. If you're interested in the best attachments and mods, uh, I have a guide for that in how to obtain them, but I'll go ahead and mention them in this video as well, just so that you guys can kind of get everything you need for DPS out of this video. All right, so to get started, I'll go ahead and talk about the mods since I feel like that's the easiest thing. Um, and you can get up the mods from Regs at Vault 79 on the map, which is in the top right corner up here. You can go over there, talk to Regs, get the plans from there. If you have Max Settler Rep and Max and or Max Raider Rep, you can also buy the plans for the mods from them, but you do need the reputation. So if you don't have any reputation, then just go to Vault 79 and Regs will always have it at least. Um, and the best mods to buy are gonna be the hex barrel for maximum dps and the laser magazine which is pretty much like the fusion cell magazine and then the gunner sight this is gonna be the best attachments and mods to use for the pepper shaker and then for the purpose of this video i have a anti-armor pepper shaker uh, but i also have a bloodied pepper shaker as well so I'm going to go ahead and use this one uh, for the purposes of this video. Um, but anti-armor is definitely really solid too. But with bloodied, you do get that much that like extra damage. Um, but I'll go ahead and talk about the legendary effects since we're already talking about it a little bit. Alright, so this is my bloodied one right here. And bloodied will give you a lot of extra damage. So if you're a bloodied build, go for the bloodied pepper shaker if you can. Bloodied, faster fire rate and faster reload speed or bloodied with uh, extra damage while aiming and faster reload speed those would like generally be the best it kind of just follows suit with all the other heavy weapons like top tier heavy weapon legendary effects so if you don't want to use bloodied or you can't get bloodied then the next best thing is going to be anti-armor uh and anti-armor will be good uh, if you're not bloodied if you and like against earl whereas bloodied will be better versus pretty much every other mob um if you are a bloodied build but yeah, anti-armor is not too bad. Same thing with this, you can do anti-armor faster fire rate with faster reload speed or anti-armor with extra damage while aiming and faster reload speed is not too bad either. But the perfect ideal roll is either anti-armor or bloodied and then faster fire rate with faster reload speed. That's probably gonna be the best roll for DPS on these weapons. If you manage to get a explosive pepper shaker before they patch it out, then that is probably going to be better than anything else just because of how explosive damage works with energy weapons and the only way to actually get an explosive pepper shaker is it's, it's a super 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 low chance to get it as a weapon reward from doing a ally quest and then you know like when you complete a daily ally quest you get rewarded a legendary and that legendary could be any type of i think legendary item i'm not entirely sure but it's like some sort of legendary weapon or maybe even armor i'm not sure if it can drop armor um and then you know that weapon has to happen to be a pepper shaker and then that pepper shaker has to happen to have the explosive effect rolled on it so it's a really low chance but some people have been grinding it and they have actually gotten explosive pepper shakers which is pretty much a a mini legacy and it's just as strong as a legacy weapon um it's not going to be as strong as like the explosive gatling plasma but for those who can't get an explosive gatling plasma anymore like an explosive pepper shaker is going to perform pretty well still um but we're not really going to cover the explosive version of it since it might get patched out and it's also very hard to obtain but do know that if you do want to go that route um it's going to be taking some time to grind but it's going to outperform any other pepper shaker um on the market pretty much because explosive weapons and energy weapons are a wombo combo um let's go ahead and go into the perk cards and this is pretty much how i have my perk card set up and this is just a rough draft it's kind of like a uh base line so you guys can use this just for inspiration and kind of fix it depending on what works best for you I do want to mention for this build to work though that I am using legendary maxed out luck and legendary maxed out intelligence. So, yeah. Um, the main thing though that's important is the 15 strength. So, you want to max out your strength. And you actually want to go ahead and use 
two master heavy gunner cards three master shock uh a level two master heavy gunner level three master shotgunner level three shotgunner level three expert shotgunner level three heavy gunner and level one expert heavy gunner and this order doesn't matter as long as you're utilizing all six of the or all three heavy gunner perks and all three shotgunner perks and all of them need to be level three except for two of them one of them needs to be level two and then one of them needs to be level one and that's like the best optimization of the 15 skill points to give you 105 percent extra damage um, I have it set up so that this build is kind of also working with the Gauss Shotgun. So my main weapon is the Pepper Shaker, and then my secondary weapon is the Gauss Shotgun. Gauss Shotgun is very ammo efficient and does really good damage. Um, and, you know, it scales off of Shotgun Perk cards. So I use that as like my one or two shot kill weapon for my day-to-day -day mobs, like regular Scorched and that sort of thing. And then for DPS, I will use the Pepper Shaker which gets the full 105% benefit. So this build is like a Pepper Shaker slash uh, Gosh Shotgun build. Um, but let's say you wanna use the Pepper Shaker and then you wanna use other heavy weapons, then you can optimize these cards so that more of the cards lean into Heavy Gunner than they do into Shotgunner. Um, like instead of using the one point into Heavy Gunner, you would use one point into Shotgunner if you're not gonna be using shotguns as much, if that makes sense. That way, in the end, you still get more heavy gunner percentage um, overall. So yeah, it kind of depends on like what weapons you wanna be using with the Pepper Shaker, um, whether it's gonna be shotguns more, or if you're gonna be more of a heavy weapons build. Um, but this is a setup to get 105% on strength and yeah, 105% damage buff to the Pepper Shaker. Next, we have Skeet Shooter and Perception. Uh, shotguns have excellent accuracy and spread. This is very helpful for the Pepper Shaker since the Pepper Shaker has really big range disadvantage. So the farther you are away from your target, the less damage you'll do. And with the Pepper Shaker, this is like, I feel like it's amplified. Uh, you have like really big damage drop off. So Skeet Shooter helps you get just a little bit of extra accuracy at range since naturally it drops off so much quicker. Grenader good to have uh grenade is optional here i use this for my tesla rifle so that it arcs more targets but you don't necessarily need this for this build you could easily swap that out for glow sight or um like a two star glow sight or you could do a two star exterminator depending on what you're fighting or just don't even have those two points in perception for endurance this stuff is completely unrelated to the build it's mostly just for my own build for survivability i have life giver fireproof and radical for carry weight um, since I'm playing bloodied. So these are all optional in endurance. Stranger numbers, if you're running mutations, stranger numbers is really good, so that's also optional. Um, if you're not running that, then some options here is Lone Wander if you always play by yourself, although I highly recommend against Lone Wander and playing by yourself. I think being in a team and getting all those benefits is always better. Um, but you could also use something like Suppressor or Tenderizer, or both in Charisma. Uh, you know, those are just options. Um, and then I think that's like the main things here. Then in intelligence, nerd rage, if you're bloodied, is really crucial. Stabilized is super, super crucial for the pepper shaker. You get 45% armor penetration and you also get extra accuracy. Um, so 45% armor pen is very important for, um, for heavy weapons. And since the pepper shaker benefits, benefits from stabilize, you should be in power armor when using the pepper shaker if you wanna use it to its maximum potential with stabilized. Um, but it is technically optional. Um, Demolition Expert helps with the gosh shotgun damage. This is where the majority of the gosh shotgun damage is actually gonna come from. Then we have batteries included so that I can carry all that energy ammo for the gosh shotgun and for the pepper shaker ammo since it is laser ammo. So I'm carrying fusion cells. Agility, three points in action boy is optional it doesn't necessarily benefit the build directly but having extra ap is always nice for that ap regen uh, then we're running enforcer which is good for shotguns aka the pepper shaker in this case and the gosh shotgun you gain a 15 percent chance to stagger and a 30 percent chance to cripple a limb adrenaline is always good for dps i could make this a three-star adrenaline i just haven't yet because i'm lazy um I don't think there's much other options for adrenaline um, since, you, since you won't really be sneaking. So that's pretty much the main thing. If anything, you could have just more points in adrenaline um, instead of like action boy if you don't, if you want. Another thing is luck, bloody mess. This is like mandatory for all builds. You just get free 15% damage. Why not? 
Here we have one gun army, which is for heavy guns, so you get 12% chance to stagger and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. What's crazy about this is it stacks with Enforcer. So you have 12% plus 15% chance to stagger for a total of 27% chance to stagger. Then you get 30% chance to cripple plus 12% chance to cripple, which is a total of 42% chance to cripple a limb, which is actually pretty strong. Um, very effective against the Scorch Beast Queen and any other enemy. Next, we have Class Freak and Start Sheens. This is totally optional, just for mutations, and that's what I use. Um, and then Luck of the Draw to maintain your weapon, which is what I like to use since it's a faster firing weapon, so Luck of the Draw has technically more chance to proc, and it will repair itself. That's pretty much all the prick cards. Um, if you guys have any other questions about the build, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Really quickly, I'll talk about strength a little bit more because there is some utility options here. So if you don't want to just pump maximum 105% damage or you're unable to with the prick allocation, then you could use bare arms to make the pepper shaker way less. For tankiness, you could use blocker. The biggest thing for me though is scattershot. So if you want to sacrifice a little bit of damage, you could opt in for scattershot and your shotgun would weigh 90% less, so the pepper shaker would weigh less, and it would reload 30% faster. Now, if you want to sacrifice a even more damage, you could get 60% reload speed by stacking lock and load as well. So lock and load and scatter shot would both apply to the pepper shaker for 60% faster reload speed. And it is actually cracked. Like the reload speed is super, super fast. Um, I'll show you guys a quick little comparison. So this is the reload speed without those. It's not bad. But now I equip both these perk cards. And just look at that reload speed. 60% faster. And honestly, like it is pretty pretty nice to have a really quick reload speed because you do have a small magazine. And so you will be reloading often if you're using this in like a big fight. But with that reload speed, you'd be super, super cracked. Um, but you do sacrifice a bit of damage. And yeah, if you wanted, you could opt for just one of them. Uh, if I was to opt for one of them, I would just do scatter shot so that way you're not sacrificing a bunch of damage, but you still get like a 30% faster reload rather than a 60. But yeah, just those are just your uh, your options, depending on like how you want to play. You can kind of test it out and see what you like. So that's pretty much the build. Um, and if you guys have any questions or concerns about the build, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but really quickly, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the damage with this current setup, which is the 105% and then all the other perk cards that I talked about. And I'll just kind of show you guys what a bloodied um, pepper shaker can do. All right, so here we go. So we're at West Tech, the nice and trusty weapon testing site. And right now we have 50 bullets in the magazine. So I'm going to try to do all headshots here. All headshots except one. And you can see it used only six bullets. So yeah, it's it kills pretty fast. The time to kill is pretty fast. I will say um, it is about 10% to 13% less damage than a Goss minigun, but the, the ammo is a lot easier to maintain and a lot lighter. So, you know, it's not going to be like a top DPS weapon, but it is definitely fun to use and still uh, pretty decent at, at clearing like any of the content that 76 has right now. But if you do want to do maximum damage, like just as an example of a comparison, the Goss minigun is going to be doing about 10 to 13 percent more dps than the pep shaker um yeah if you don't mind that then this is definitely a great weapon to use it's it's, it's a lot of fun but yeah if you're interested in using pep shaker hopefully this build helped you um this build guide helped you out and kind of narrow down how you want to make your build um if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please let me know in the comment section below otherwise until next time